joining us on Biztech on Ghana Web TV. I am Ernestina Sewa Asante. So the Monetary Policy Committee of the Bank of Ghana on Monday, May 23rd, increased the policy rate by 200 basis points from 17% to 19%. Now, what does this mean to businesses? Well, my colleague Stella J. Jomsogli is on standby to give us the details on monetary policy rates. Stay tuned. very much Ernestina. Now at the start of 2022, the Monetary Policy Committee of the Central Bank decided to keep the monetary policy rate at 14.5% after its first meeting to review economic development. Now this rate is keen to businesses because it signals the rate at which the central bank will lend to commercial banks and also the average lending rate that commercial banks will lend to individuals and businesses. For the greater part of 2021, the central bank kept its policy rate unchanged at 14.5% till January this year. But with growing inflationary pressures, revenue generation constraints, increasing public debt stock, tight fiscal policy among others, the central bank in March this year hiked the policy rate to 17% after its 105th meeting. The move which came as a major shock to many was rather necessary to deal with the current economic situation in the country. The sovereign credit rating downgrades of Ghana by Fitch and Moody's led to widened yield spreads on both city denominated government of Ghana bonds and the country's euro bonds. These downgrades reflect market and investor concerns about fiscal and debt sustainability. Consequently, the Ghana city has come under severe pressure as offshore investors exited positions in domestic securities at a time when the domestic demand for forex has increased, reflecting both real and speculative demand. This has caused the exchange rate to overshoot its long-term trend. The strengthening of the US dollar, liquidity pressures, uncertainties regarding budget implementation, Portfolio reversals by non-residents and some speculative pressures are key contributory factors. At this MPC, the combination of tighter global financing conditions, sharp pressures on the exchange rate and elevated inflation pose some policy challenges. Headline inflation has risen sharply to 15.7% in February 2022 and both headline and core inflation are significantly above the upper limit of the medium-term target band. The uncertainty surrounding price developments and its impact on economic activity is weighing down business and consumer confidence. The risks in the outlook for inflation are on the upside and include petroleum price adjustments and transportation costs and exchange rate depreciation. The bank's latest forecast still depicts an ele elevated inflation profile in the near term, with inflation falling within the medium term target band within a year. Fiscal policy implementation has come under strain, reflecting embedded rigidities in the fiscal framework, which will require extensive structural reforms to free fiscal space to restore both fiscal and debt sustainability. Revenue performance has been slow to align with projections, while expenditure remains rigid downwards, despite strong efforts to cut expenditure by 20% as announced by the government. The above has resulted in financing constraints, which would have to be resolved very swiftly to ensure the announced fiscal consolidation path is achieved. The MPC is, however, confident that the ongoing discussions would lead to very decisive policy reforms that will address underlying fiscal mismatches and restore some calm in the markets. 
This, together with the monetary policy decision and additional measures, should help re anchor inflation expectations. Under these circumstances, the committee has decided to increase the policy rate by 250 basis points to 17%. In addition to the upward policy rate adjustment, the Bank of Ghana will effective 1st April 2022 enforce the following measures in relation to the universal banks. The cash reserve ratio is increased to 12%. The capital conservation buffer is reset to the pre-pandemic level of 3%, making the capital adequacy ratio a total of 13%. And the provisioning rate for loans in the other loans exceptionally mentioned category is reset to the pre-pandemic level of 10%. Prior to the hike, an economist, Presla Chumesi Bafo, called on the Bank of Ghana, together with the managers of the economy, to, as a matter of urgency, come up with policies that will help deal with the country's current economic crisis. She called for the increment of the monetary policy rate to boost investor confidence and show up investments in the country. Now, to the just-ended 106th meeting, the Monetary Policy Committee increased the policy rate by 200 basis points to 19% after inflation saw a huge jump from 19.4% to 23.6% in April, largely pushed by the rise in food and fuel prices, among others. The hike in the policy rate was to tame the unprecedented rise in prices of goods and services. Explaining the rationale behind the decision, Governor of the Bank of Ghana, Dr. Ernest Addison, admitted that this will have a negative impact on lending, but was necessary to stem the soaring inflation figures. Despite the improvement in the trade balance due to favorable commodity prices, the external sector has weakened somewhat due to developments in the capital and financial account. The domestic economy does not fully benefit from higher oil and gold prices due to retention agreements in these sectors. The increased repatriation from dividend payments and profits, as well as the net portfolio reversals, have resulted in a widened balance of payments out and loss of reserves. The prevailing tight global financing conditions and further policy rate hikes in advanced economies continue to pose risks to the external outlook. Headline inflation surged in April 2022, and both headline and core inflation have stretched further above the upper limit of the bank's medium-term target band. The heightened uncertainty surrounding the inflation dynamics has weighed heavily on the domestic environment and significantly depressed business and consumer sentiments. The inflation numbers show that while food inflation has accounted for the increases in inflation over the past year, the recent jump in April shows that relative price increases in the non-food sector is accelerating at a fast pace, which provides information on the extent to which prices are becoming embedded. The bank's latest forecast shows a continued elevated inflation profile in the near term with a prolonged horizon for inflation to return to the target band. Inflation expectations by consumers, businesses, and the banking sector have also heightened. The risks to inflation outlook are on the upside and emanate from the availability of inputs for food production, imported inflation, continued upward adjustments in expound petroleum prices and transportation costs, possible increases in utility tariffs and potential wage pressures. The second round effects of these unlimited price adjustments would further amplify inflation pressures in the outlook. These considerations show that with a strong rebound in growth and the closing of the negative output gap, the balance of risk is clearly on inflation. The NPC took the view that it needed to decisively address the current inflationary pressures to re-anchor expectations and help foster macroeconomic stability. 
On the, above, on the basis of the above assessment, the committee decided to raise the policy rate by 200 basis points to 19%. Thank you. These decisions by the Bank of Ghana will increase cost of credit, but government still insists it will adopt homegrown solutions to deal with the current economic crisis. My name is Stella J. Jom Sudli. Back to you, Ernestina. Thank you, Stella J. Jom Sudli, for that insight on the monetary policy rate. Up next is Busy Headlines. <laughs> To our very first story, Ghana has the highest interest rates among 11 African countries, according to Data Bank's weekly fixed income update. The 91-day and 182-day Treasury bills with interest rates of 18.23% and 19.26% rates, respectively, are the highest on the continent. Despite their high interest rates, the Treasury bill rates in the country are lower than the inflation rate of 23.6 percent. The interest, the inflation rate has however had a negative effect on returns made by investors. The situation has however compelled the Bank of Ghana to increase its monetary policy rate from 17 percent to 19 percent. This is to help mop up excess liquidity in circulation and eventually reduce the rate of inflation. The Bank of Ghana Monetary Policy Committee has reviewed its policy rate from 17% to 19%. The governor for the central bank, Dr. Ernest Addison, made this known at a press conference on Monday, May 23rd. The risks to inflation outlook are on the upside and emanate from the availability of inputs for food production, imported inflation, continued upward adjustments in expound petroleum prices and transportation costs, possible increases in utility tariffs and potential wage pressures. The second round effects of these unlimited price adjustments would further amplify inflation pressures in the outlook. These considerations show that with a strong pound rebound in growth and the closing of the negative output gap, the balance of risk is clearly on inflation. The NPC took the view that it needed to decisively address the current inflationary pressures to re-anchor expectations and help foster macroeconomic stability. On the, above, on the basis of the above assessment, the committee decided to raise the policy rate by 200 basis points to 19%. Now to the aviation sector. The Ashanti Airlines is set to commence operations in Ghana as it nears the completion process for the acquisition of its air operator's certificate. An Aviation Ghana report has disclosed. The airline is owned by celebrated Ghanaian business moguls, Osei Kwame Despite and his partner, Dr. Ernest Ofori Sapon. According to the Aviation Ghana report, Ashanti Airlines' decision to operate in Ghana requires that it secures an air carrier license, which it has already acquired, and an air operator certificate. The two licenses are mostly required by the aviation industry regulator, Ghana Civil Aviation Authority before an airline can commence operations in Ghana. Currently, Ashanti Airlines is coordinating with the GCAA for the final stages of its AOC process. Financial analyst with Dalex Finance, Joe Jackson, has averred that the hike in the monetary policy by the Bank of Ghana will only lead to more challenges in the country. He explained that the increase in the monetary policy rate by 200 basis points will firstly deter people from borrowing because of the high interest rate on lending. Joe Jackson added that governments will pay more for debt servicing because banks do not lend to the private sector. These, he said, will slow down the growth of the local economy.
Now to our final story. Contrary to fears that the implementation of the electronic transfer levy, e-levy, would collapse businesses of mobile money agents, there seems to be a new revenue stream for them, namely cash-in transactions, which have become the preference of customers. This comes as a result of some customers' desperate attempt to avoid the tax as transactions done as cash-ins, otherwise known as deposits, have become the order of the day since the 1.5% tax came into effect about three weeks ago. Rather than send monies through their mobile money account, customers withdraw the cash and give it to an agent to be sent to the destination mobile money account by which the e-levy in both transactions is not applied, thereby avoiding payment of the tax. However, this type of smart move by customers is not at all coming at a loss to the agent since telecommunication companies still charge clients 0.75% of the transaction value, then give commission to the agent. Most of the agents explained to BFT that even though there were panic withdrawals a few days after the e-levy took off, activities picked up immediately when patrons realized mobile money agents were exempted from the e-levy charges. Thank you very much for joining us on the most watched business show in the country. Best Tech airs every Friday on Ghana Web TV. Now, before we go, do log on to www.ghanaweb.com for more stories. Do well to follow us on all social media platforms on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at the Ghana Web. On YouTube, Ghana Web TV. I am Ernestina Sewa Asante. Do have a lovely weekend. <music>